first pitch on the way. It's going to be strike one. And there it is. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The, with the one-two count there, it is the urge to swing. That one's going to be driven right up the gap, up the middle. Whittier's going to make it to first safely. That one driven in the gap. Huff couldn't make the diving play. Ball gets out to the outfield. Adam's able to reach first. That one's going to be driven deep. Left field. And that's out of here. Two run home run for Lindsey Bump Bumpus. That's going to give Keene State their first lead of the game with a 2-1 lead over Westfield State. Excellent swing. Real aggressive. It was a 2-2 count. Needed to make contact there, and contact was certainly made. Yeah, Bump Bumpus really got all of that one. That was really in her, uh, in her wheelhouse. That one's going to be driven. Left center field. And it's going to drop the wall. Townsend's going for two and makes it. No need to slide, makes it in cleanly, and that's going to be a double for Townsend. That ball is driven in the gap. Whittier looks to field it, not cleanly. Ball took a rough bounce right there. And two runners will score. That'll be a two-run RBI double right there for Huff. And Westfield will take the lead. That's going to come in at strike three. Strikeout right there for Ferry. That's exactly what she needed. Big gap between the shortstop and second baseman. And that one we're going to see driven over the second baseman's head. Huff unable to field it. Just gets right over. And, uh, and that's exactly what she's really going to do. That one driven out to the left center gap. And Miller's going. Miller's going for home. And just not clean throw to the cutoff right there. Miller's going to score. It's going to be an RBI double for Whittier. And this game's going to be a one-run game now. That one's driven deep left field. And that's out of here. Home run right there from Clark. And uh, that's going to extend this lead and put more salt in the room for the Keene State Owls. It's going to be a 7-3 lead now. An 8 3 lead. That one's going to be drilled again. Ferry with the grab. Two grabs in a row, and that's going to be the third out of the inning. Westfield State currently with an 8 3 lead still over the Kings State Owls. And we're back to the bottom of the fifth. Getting on base, looking the same here. That one's going to be driven into the gap. Shortstop Clark unable to field it cleanly out to the outfield. Rolls out to the outfield, and Miller is able to grab another single. That one's going to be really the right center gap. Halverson there, unable to make the catch. That ball is dropped. Jose able to get to second and drive both runners in. It's going to be a 10-3 game. A really good piece of hitting there. So I feel like a few tough pitches here on this side that you fouled off. That's a swing and a miss right there to retire it. And uh, we're going to see the third batter here, two out. That ball driven again, left field. And that's going to be ruled fair. It drops fair. It's off to a great start right here. Bunt laid down from Molly Murray, able to beat out the throw. That one driven, left field. It's, it's going to drop. Runners will advance. Demi will score. And base is loaded once again. That one driven to the gap. One runner will score. Another goes home. Murray's going to score. Two runs will score. That Miller is going to advance. Play. Both runners advance. Two runs score right there. Chadwick and Miller go home. That one drilled to the second baseman. Able to field it cleanly. Makes a throw. Ferry is out at first, but able to drive Carissa Miller home and uh, driving another run. Now tying run herself. And big swing and miss right there. That's gonna be out number three. Uh, great game played by the Owls, by both both Owls here. Um, ultimately, Westfield State's gonna come away with the first one, 10-7, and uh, we'll be back with the second game shortly. And that's a strikeout right there. Very big strikeout there by Demi, first one of the game. 
That's going to be strike three. Another strikeout for Demi right there. Demi doing a good job. You know, really painting the corners. Pretty shortstop really came in. That one is crushed in the gap. Rolls right over to Loomis in center field. But Murray's going to be at first safely. Right there, that one is hit in between the shortstop and third baseman. Murray's going to advance. Miller is going to get on first. And uh, that's going to be another hit. You know, kind of, kind of sounded off the end of the bat, Ray. Do the same thing, but find the gap in the last at bat. Right there, Whittier's exactly going to find that. it deep left center. Murray's going to go home. Miller went to three, and Whittier went to two. That's an RBI double. It's going to advance all the runners, and now we're going to have a runner in second and third. That one finds a gap. Whittier's going home. Safe. No throw is made in time. Ferry with a two-run single. And now Keene State has the 3-0 lead. From Westfield State. That one's going to be popped up. Miller's looking to get under it. Miller makes the grab. Great play right there by Miller. That's three outs. Uh, looking like a little bit of a dangerous situation. Two runners in scoring position. Owls got it away. And uh, we're going into the bottom of the fourth. That one is drilled out the right field. That one drilled out right center gap. Demi's going for three. Halverson's going to stay at one. And that puts a runner in scoring position right there. Over here. That one is sent into left center field. Demi's going to score. Halverson's going to get to three. And another runner will score for Keene State. Now it's a 4 0 game. That one's going to be hit back to the pitcher. And she can't field it cleanly. It's going to be an RB. Uh, we're going to look at an error right there. Um, these, they're locked in. That one is popped up by Metzgar. Whittier gets under it with the grab, and that's going to be the third out. Three up, three down for Westfield, and we'll be right back with Keene State. Currently leads 5-0. Looking to get first hitter on base. And that one's driven down the third base line. It's going to be fair. Demi's going to get to first. That pitch on the way, and it is a bunt. And Murray's going to get to first. Great play. I mean, we've been talking about it all day. She did it in the first game. They knew it was coming early on. At her first at bat, you know, she laid down the bunt. They were able to make the throw. This time, she beats out the throw, loads the bases with only one out. Oh, looking to get a second. Right there. Hits the gap. One runner will score. Two runners will score right there. Halverson goes home from second. Murray gets to third right there. I mean, this is the kind of day that Liv Whittier is having. Whittier is having a great day at the plate, even in the field, making making a few great catches that we've seen so far in this doubleheader. But this one's certainly getting to that point. Right there, Ferry drills it out fair to center to left field. Excuse me. Two runners are going to score. And that'll conclude the game. Keen State wins by the run rule.